Hi guys. Hi everybody. Uh, my name is Angie and I'm from the Renaissance Club Sport in Aliso Viejo. On behalf of the Renaissance and Formula 3 family, I'd like to welcome you to thir uh, 35 40 minute strength uh, workout. Today you are going to need an assortment of weights, mostly uh, lighter, medium sized weights. We're going to be working in uh, blocks and we're going to be doing it um, kind of fairly quickly to keep our heart rate up. But the whole idea today is not cardio, but we're going to be working um, muscle resistance, strength, and lots of core. So I do not play loud music while I work out. I will have some in the background. If you guys like using music when you work out, I certainly encourage you to put it on um, loud enough so you can hear my cues. And um, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do a five minute warm up, very similar to what we've been doing in the weeks past. Um, the warm up is going to be consist of 10 moves. We're going to switch a move every 30 seconds. And it's mostly meant to get body temperature up, joints moving all around stuff. So I'm going to start my music. I'm going to start my timer. You're going to stand. You do not need any weights for our, you do not need anything for our warm up. All we're going to do is use body weight, all right? Let me see here. So every 30 seconds, we're going to switch our exercise. You're going to start with your feet hip distance apart. Let's do this. 30 seconds. I want to squat and reach. Squat and reach. Right here. So as you sit back in your hips, I want you to power up and reach up towards the sky. As you reach up, get your arms over your heart, over your head. Can you squeeze your butt for me real, real tight right here. Back. Sit it back. I still want your chest to face forward. I don't want you to kind of collapse in your chest. Keep with the squat. Let's add an oblique twist in three, two, squat, oblique twist right here. Squat. Knee to opposite elbow. Knee to opposite elbow right here. So as you come across, can you breathe out? Exhale. Right here. Exhale. Remember, every 30 seconds, I'm switching it up on you. Moving with purpose, not with too much speed yet. We're still waking up, still warming up. Three. We're going to go into good mornings. Warm up the backs of the bodies. Two. Keep your hands where they're at, right here. Nice. Hamstring stretch. Come all the way up and squeeze, right here. Inhale as you come back. Push those hips back. Come on up and squeeze at the very top. So we're going to be doing some deadlift motion. This is our hinge. So take your time through these. You lead with the hips. Keep those knees pretty straight. Good. All the way down to a flat back. So at the very bottom of this move, I can come place my coffee cup on your back. I don't know about you guys. I work out for coffee. That's what I'll be doing right here in about 35 seconds, or 35 minutes. Good. We're switching it up in three. Two, you're gonna take your right foot forward right here. So now, in this staggered stance, arms are gonna reach up, biceps to ears, pull down. Right here, pull. You're tucking your lats into your back pockets right here. Squeeze with intention. Now distribute the weight between those, the front leg and the back leg so you're not totally loaded on the front. But instead, you're evenly distributed. Let's get our back warmed up. We're going to be doing some row motions here. Good. We're going to switch this up in three, two. Now let's take the other foot forward, stagger, but sit up nice and tall. Evenly distribute arm circles. Make them big. Good. In 15 seconds, we'll take it to the front. I want strong hands, strong elbows in this. Straighten out those arms. Good. Try and keep them up high. There we go. I like it. Keep going. You get more calories when you smile, even if you're smiling at the screen and I can't see. Switch it up. 15 seconds right here. Evenly distribute. Can you try and pull these feet together for me? Kind of get those adductors warmed up as well. Keep going. We're going to go to those lunge, kind of a runner's lunge with a thoracic twist here in three, two, and one. Now watch me. Runner's lunge right here. Now I'm going to go into the front knee. So I'm going to reach up and come on back. I'm going to do this here, opening up my back hip, getting my spine ready for work. All right here. My gaze goes with my hands. So instead of taking myself and looking straight ahead, 
I'm looking up where my hands go right here. We're gonna switch sides here and do our other side in three. Good, two. Adjust so that the other foot is forward. Open up this back hip. Reach up. Now look at that hand, please. Now as we're getting our spine warmed up, think about that back hip, it's extended. Right, it probably was bent all night in bed. So right now we're opening it up, right here. Three, two. Now our last minute, we're gonna be walking out. The first 30 seconds, we're gonna walk out here. Inchworm walk out, one push up, inchworm back. 30 seconds, join me here guys. Nope, right here. You gotta love the kid who's trying to sneak in something he knows he shouldn't be doing because he thinks long as I'm paying attention. We can see it all right here, 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, we're that good guys, we're that good. Mommy spent, my, mommy spider senses told me. Okay, now guys, come out, stay out. 30 seconds right here. Can you do a slow mountain climber? Driving those knees up right here. Pull, pull. I told you we have a lot of core work to do today. So I want to get our abdominals, low back and obliques ready for that work. Ready for the load. Stay here. Good, keep going. Four, three, I'm working slow, no momentum here. Two, all abdominal contraction. Last one each side, walk it back, guys. All right, so we're a little warmed up. We will warm up as we work through our blocks of work. First work, first block of work we're gonna do is we're gonna do a heel lifted squat. So a quad focused squat. I'm grabbing the smallest weights I have so I can rest my heels on there. I'm gonna grab a heavy, heavy weight. Not too heavy, so still nursing this. We have a goblet squat with heels lifted, right? So what you're gonna do, 45 seconds on, 15 second rest. Right here, set yourself up. Get my timer started right here. All right, so now push into the balls of the feet and come on down and up right here. So I'm actually front loading this squat with that weight close into my body but I'm also kind of leaning into it. So I'm kind of breaking all the squatting rules. My knees are gonna go over my toes. It's okay. I'm gonna come down. I'm making my quads do a lot more work on the way up, pushing through that extension that I might in a traditional squat, which uses a lot more glute, a lot more hamstring. Right now I want it all about the fronts of the legs. Keep going, guys. Let's do this for about 10 seconds. Now, how low can you go? We'll do this again so you can make sure that the weight you picked up is the right weight. Good, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and put that aside. We're gonna do a bicep burnout set. You're gonna wanna pick up something slightly lighter if you have it available for bicep curls. So we're gonna do one iso hold and the other side will be doing curls. We're gonna switch during our second time through. So right now, just one side. So, I tell you my husband, for those of you who came on, my husband helped me last week, so I was injured. And he actually liked the workout. Left arm, right here. Tighten it up, it stays here 45 seconds. Other side. So we like them so much, he asked me if he can join. And I said yes. Not on my rug. So he's over here. I think it's win-win because I don't think he wants to be in the camera as much as I do. All right, right here, Monday morning. Let's get it, team. Can you squeeze your booty? Abs are tight. Okay, I have a straight wrist. And I am putting kind of muscle, my mind and my muscle. My left bicep is super tight. My grip is tight as well. Good, now do me a favor. Give me reciprocal curls for 10 seconds, right here, 10. So you're switching it up, nine. Don't forget that core. Squeeze your glutes. Good, four, burn it out, three. 
two, and one. Finish it up. No weights needed. Come down. I promise four. You guys are getting it today. For 15 seconds, we have two 15 second holds in tabletop. I'm going to show you what it looks like. You'll come here, shins parallel with the ground. I'm going to lift up. I'm going to push my hands to my feet. Flex my feet. I'm going to push my feet into my hand, or my tops of my thighs into my hands. I'm going to hold it for 15 seconds, and then I'll break. We have two of those guys. Ready. Get yourself set up. Flex your feet. Three, two, now hold. Look at your belly button, guys. So if I were to come and push your feet in towards your face, I wouldn't be able to get them very far because your hands are pushing as much as they can against the tops of those thighs. Keep looking at your belly button. Now you gotta breathe. I can't breathe because I'm talking. I want you breathing though, so keep going. You're almost there. Four, three, push two. Good, release it for a second. So I want tons of contraction. It should be shaking. It should be hard. And that's why we're only doing it for 15 seconds. Okay, we have one more of those. And then we're gonna start the top of this block again. We're going, set it up. Flex those feet, three, two, now push. Let's go. Now inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, and really create that tension. This is all your own body tension, guys. <laughs> Good. You lift a little bit higher, squeeze a little bit more. For five, four, three, two, and one. Release, come up. Set it up, guys. We have those heel lifted squats. We're going to the top of that block, moving fairly quickly. We saw the count of time. Set it up so that you can lift your heels up and grab a heavier weight right here. Remember, it's a narrow stance, 45 seconds. Right here, ready. Let's do this, 45 seconds. Remember that I'm leaning forward a little bit, guys. I'm trying to make my quads do all the work. The quads are these big muscles on the front here. Don't worry, we'll work the backs of our legs too, I promise. Good, so I am leaning a little bit forward, but I'm not collapsing through my chest. Keep going, halfway, 20 more seconds here. Good, are you guys breathing? Sure hope so. Come on down, guys. How low can you go now for these last 10 seconds? Can you really drop those glutes and push through the balls of the feet? Good, there in two, there in one. Okay. Unless you were super suffering through that bicep, that, that we did, we gotta use the same weight because we're gonna work the other side, to even ourselves out. So remember, this time, right arm isometric, left arm curls, pick up your poison. We're gonna go in three, and remember we did that little burnout at the end, let's go right here. So, my right elbow's pretty tight into my side, grip is strong, wrist is straight, so I'm not pulling here, and then not super extended, right here, nice and straight. Good, all the way up, slowly lower down. No momentum here, it's all biceps. Good, how are you doing, honey? Amazing? You're loving it. Good. We all like to be told what to do when it comes to working out. I totally get it, guys. That's why these classes are so important. Good, you guys ready for those reciprocal curls? Let's do it right here for 10. Good, every time one comes up, the other goes down nine, eight, keep burning, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, it's down. Come down, we're gonna do those hollow holds, guys. Okay, like I said, the whole idea is to create that tension and use your breath, flex your feet, shins parallel with the ground, hands on those sides, you guys ready? Go. Good. Can you breathe in through your nose? And as you exhale, push as tall as much as you can. Create that tension. Look at your belly button. Spinal curve here. Good. Four, 
three, two, release for a second. Let that low back take a quick break. We're gonna do that one more time, guys. All right, tabletop, knees over hips, shins parallel, feet are flexed, hands right here. Ready, go. Good, what are you doing with your breath? Certainly not holding it. Your abs need that oxygen. Give it to them with a big inhale. Let's do this, guys. Four, three, two. Come on down. Good, come on up. Block one's done. Block two. You're gonna need a weight. We're gonna be on the mat or on the ground. You're gonna need a weight that you can do a row, a renegade type row in, all right? If you don't have weights, we're going to be doing a push-up in a row right here, okay? So, even pulling your elbows up in that plank position, that'll do it for me, all right? So, here's what it's going to look like, guys. You have a push-up, you're rowing on each side, and then I want you to walk those feet in to a bear crawl hover and walk it back. Push-up. All right, that's what it looks like. Join me when you're ready. Push up, row, row. Walk it in to that bear crawl hover. All right, ready. Go, push up. Push ups can be done on the knees, guys. Take that option. Row on each side. Walk those knees in so they're bent. Knees are under those hips and they're hovering. And walk it back. Oh, I forgot my push up. Push up. Row on each side. Cover those knees in the bear crawl. Pull those abs in. Remember, I promise the abs I'm delivering. Today I'm over promising and over delivering, guys. And walk it back. Keep going. Push up. Row. Row. Hover. Let's do it one more time. Come on back. Push up. Row. Row. In and out. Excellent, come on up. Grab a weight. Let's see. Oh no, stand on your back, sorry. Sorry guys. Grab one of those weights that you just did a row with. Oh, this is good, it's all out. You guys are gonna love me. All right, right here. Arms up overhead, squeeze those elbows, lift your head. Single leg drops, 45 seconds. Inhale long, exhale up right here. I'll consider this our little core strength circuit. My gaze is on my belly button right here. Elbows are locked, triceps are turned on, guys. Inhale with that single leg drop, exhale with the lift. This can be done with your head down as well. Concentrate on really squeezing through those triceps while you're doing it. Good, four, three, two, now come up, bring that weight into your chest, come on up, stay here, bent knees, come on back, now twist, press, twist, so this weight has to be able to go overhead, twist, and press, right here, twist, I'm taking that weight, trying to place it well behind my hip, guys. Really twist, take a lift in every direction that your weight moves right here. Twist with that press, guys. This whole block is on the ground. All upper body and core. Inhale here, exhale lift. Four, three, two, and one, good, go back to the top of that block. So, I've kind of determined I just need one weight for this. For that push-up row row, I don't need two weights. So unless you like to do push-ups while you're holding onto your weights, that's a personal preference here. Push-up row row, bear crawl hover, 45 seconds, guys. You guys ready? Let's do this right here. Lower the chest. I want you to almost touch that weight if you can. Row on each side. Give yourself a moment for those abdominals to catch in that bear crawl hover. 
push up row row walk those knees in to right under those hips and come on back good in and out and no hands land right now you still have 15 seconds it means you have plenty of time to get through this a couple more times keep going Good, hover those knees for me in that bear crawl position last time. And stay down on your backs, guys. Take that weight with you. Single leg drops. Ooh. Aren't you so glad you're not on camera today, honey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Okay. Arms, legs, belly button. Let's do this. 45 seconds. Long drop. Inhale. Exhale as you lift it up. Inhale. Come on up. Good, so right here, you need to drop your head. If you feel any tension in the neck, drop your head. Just concentrate on squeezing through those triceps. That's another option. You can also just ditch the weight and do a heel drop with no weight. Good, stay here 10 seconds. Excellent, guys. All right, come on up. My people are not gonna have flabby abs this summer just because of quarantine. Heck no. You guys ready? Twist and press. I'm moving from this kind of half V sit position with my twist. And I'm coming up tall for that shoulder press. Twist, shoulder press. Good guys, keep going. Twist and shoulder press. 20 seconds, guys. Good. Can you breathe? Inhale as you twist. Exhale with that press overhead. Last 10 seconds. Hang in there, guys. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Block two is done. Oh, it's high It's perfect. It couldn't be better. Let's go on to block three. I told you guys we worked the backs of our legs because we already worked the fronts. We're going to do a kickstand deadlift. If this is not your first class with me, you'll know it's the one where your toe is set up right behind the working leg. And all my energy is going to be put on this standing leg for my hinge. Okay? I like to use two heavier weights. Since I'm nursing an injury, I'm going to go a little bit lighter. I encourage you to pick up a weight that's fairly heavy because we're doing some single leg work, but we're not going to do it with uh, this. But we're not doing it up with balance. All right? Kickstand deadlift. Let's do this right here. So I'm working my right foot first. Left toes are lined up with my right heel. So 80% of my weight is right here on my right leg. I have my foot kind of planted evenly. All four corners of my foot are touching down. Going down to that mid shin and squeezing up. I've said before, this is one of my favorite versions of a single leg, a unilateral motion, because you're not fighting for balance and losing the form. I can really put this in my hamstrings and glutes. I feel these the next day a lot more than I feel single leg motion, like true single leg motion. Good, five. Good, honey. Four, three, two. Okay, so we're gonna come onto our back. You want something that you can do a chest press with, but it has to be a little bit lighter, and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna be here. Feet are gonna be down, knees are gonna be bent. So I'm gonna work, my elbows are gonna be rested on the ground. I'm gonna push through one elbow, I'm gonna come and press across. Right here. So trust me when I say, pick up a lighter weight, guys. I can chest press for days, but these are a little different. So this is where the lighter weights come in handy. Let's cross. So push through that opposite elbow. Come and press that weight up over the opposite kind of hip. Right here, squeeze. So we got a chest press motion here, right? We get the twist, work our spine, work our obliques. 
And of course our abdominals and low back are helping us. Low back is down, glued to the mat, glued to the ground, full tie right here. Come across. Almost there, keep going. Four. Let's do three more. Three. Two. Okay, we're staying down on the ground. Put your weights aside. We have a plank progression, and this time we're not resting. For 30 seconds, we're gonna do hip dips, and for the final 30 seconds, we're gonna do forehead taps, okay? So come onto your elbows for me. This can be done on the knees, or it can be done on the toes. For 30 seconds, feet are hip distance. Can you rock your hips side to side? Now, can you really get them down? Uh, lots of oblique. And then as you come through center, can you pull those abs in? Right here. So I've been trying to do things for like 45 seconds with a 15 second break. We're gonna do a full minute of this plank progression. Good, in 10 seconds, we're gonna progress to a forehead tap. I'll show you. Okay, now bring your hip center. Hands are nice and wide. Take yourself, rock yourself, and try and tap your forehead between those hands. Rock it. Shoulder burnout right here. 20 seconds, all body weight. So your depth is gonna depend on shoulder strength. Don't be discouraged if rocking forward is enough for you. That's totally fine, guys. Keep going, almost there. You got four, three, two. Come on up. Okay, that was our first block, or sorry, our first set. We're gonna go back to those deadlifts. Kick stand deadlifts, guys. All right. Grab the heavier weights that you have. I worked my right leg last time, now I'm gonna work my left. So, okay. Now my right toe is gonna to be lined up with my left heel right here. Remember, the hips lead the way when it comes to these hinges. Knees might bend because of the hamstring flexibility because the hip flexibility, that's fine. But let them bend after the hips go back. Give me a nice flat back at the end of this. And then take your gaze with it, okay? So instead of nice lifted elbow there, let that cervical spine fall in line with the rest of the spine. Inhale down, exhale that power. So I want you to think about that weight being distributed on that whole foot. Almost there. Four, three, two. Come on down, we have those cross chest presses. So grab the weight that makes sense for you, right? Remember, we dropped our weights. We went a little bit lower to help protect our shoulders. Working through that elbow. So knees are bent right here. Ready, reach. And reach. Exhale with that extension. Exhale as you come up. Inhale as you come down. Good, guys. I see it. You guys look great. Keep going. Give me 15 seconds and we're going to do that plank progression right here. Awesome. Keep going. Reach it over. Four, three. Last one here. Two. Come on down, you do not need weights. Set yourself up, 30 seconds of work. Two different planks. Can you commit to not dropping your knees? That's your commitment to yourself. Now hold it. Let's go get it right here, let's go. So feet are hip distance, 30 seconds, side to side. So if you're new, right? If planking and moving in a plank is not your jam, Concentrate on just holding a strong plank. Even if you're here, even if you're here, these are things that you work up to. So this is not a beginner move. So don't be discouraged. You have your own journey to work on. All right, shift it forward. Last 30 seconds right here. How low can you get that forehead? Can it touch the ground? 
I know what it does to the shoulder. That's why I like this move so much. Burn it out. Almost there. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Sit it back for a second, guys. All right, I promise. Yep. Give me 10 minutes and we'll be done, okay? We have an every minute on the minute, but instead of doing reps, we're gonna do it for time. Pick up a lower uh, a set of weights. Because we're gonna be here. We're gonna do kickbacks for 45 seconds. And then we're gonna do pulses for the last 15. So instead of doing a time to eat, Imam, we're gonna do, I'm sorry, instead of doing reps, we're gonna do time, okay? Yeah. I'm like, can I do the eights? <laughs> I'm gonna try. I can always drop down. So that's our first move. And then our second move will be done body weight plie squats with some um, pulsing, okay? So for 45 seconds, stagger, elbows. Here we go, right here. We're gonna do this three times through, guys. So you only have six minutes of work left. I'll take you slightly past 8.30, sorry about that. Not really. I'm not that sorry. Because I love working the triceps. Good. So remember, there's no, the break that comes from the triceps is going to come when we're doing lower body. So we go full minute of triceps right here. In 15 seconds, we're going to add the pulses. I know, regretting the eights right here. Again, sometimes extended time under pressure or under tension, I should say. It really does challenge you in a different way than lifting a heavy weight. All right, let's go. Pulse. Last 10 seconds right here. Pulse. Break will come soon because we're going to do our lower body. Four, three, two. Keep the weights close. I'm going to keep those five pounds close. Get wide for me right here. Down, halfway up for me. Down, halfway up. We're not coming out of this squat for the next minute. Down, drop it low, halfway up. Down. Good. As you come up, knees are open. Squeeze those glutes, guys. Squeeze on the way up. No extension of those knees. We're gonna pulse at the bottom of this for the last 15 seconds. And then you'll get a break. So we're gonna go do those triceps again. All right, down, squeeze. You don't even need a weight. Get enough burn here without it, right? Body weight can do it, right? Four, three, now come down. Pulse right here. Keep your knees open for me. Low, 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 keep going. Rest will be here, almost there for five, four, three, two, and one. Grab your tricep weights. Okay, going to the fives, staggered, ready, go. Remember, we switch it. 45 seconds of kickbacks, 15 seconds of pulses. This is our second set, we have three of these. Now I'm thinking, maybe I'll go back to the eights for the last one. Do you guys do that? These little mini bargains in your mind. You want to push, but you want to get through it. That makes sense, right? Our pulsing will happen here. The highest part, I'm sorry, the high range of motion here. Don't stop, right here, pulse it, right here, up, up. So just little mini lifts. Pick the challenge that works for you, right? For me, I don't want my weights to go below my hips. Four, three, two, and one. We're at the bargaining stage of the workout where you start to decide, would I prefer that? Let's come down low. Or would you prefer the lower body? I don't know. Lower body. Lower body, yeah. I love me. Lots of glute focus work, so good. Now we're gonna pulse here, coming up. Down, halfway up. Pick your challenge to yourself. Mine is that I'm not gonna come out of this squat. Almost there. Well, not almost, we're getting there. Almost there is different for everybody. Let's pulse it, I'm shaking. This feels good, it feels good to shake. Feels good to work. Push your knees out, come lower if you can. 
for four, three, last set of tricep coming in two, and one, shake it out. Okay, last time through. You have two minutes left of your workout. Going back to the big guns, guys. Join me, let's challenge ourselves. I'm in it with you right here. Right here, 45 second kickback. Anyone else like it when their triceps are sore? I love it. So I'm staggered. You can do this bent over. If it's too much on the knees, or in the low back, you can come into this kneeling position that actually makes it harder. Keep going. We're not there yet. All right. I went with the big guns. I wanted to finish strong. This is tough. Okay, let's pulse up. 15 seconds. My pulsing is happening in my triceps. By lifting, little lifts, the weights stay above my hips. Keep breathing, five. Good, four, three. This is it, two, and one. Let's finish our plies, please. Come on down. Down, halfway up. Let's go, last minute right here. Down, halfway up. So, how you end your workout? Come on, it's gonna set the stage for your whole day. So if you're gonna end it by petering out on me, don't peter out. And it's strong. Set the tone. Show your muscles, you're the boss. You got this. Down, halfway up. Good. You still thinking the lower body's better? Yeah? All day, every day, right here. I look at that clock just like you guys look at the clock when we're at the gym. Is it almost over? It is, come down low, last 15 seconds here. Pulse it for me here. Pulse, pulse. You guys look so good, keep going, keep going. Lower, eight, seven, knees open, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Goodness, you guys. Okay, you guys did so awesome. Thanks for moving quickly with me through everything, through strength. Thank you for spending part of your day with us. On behalf of the Renaissance Club Sport and Formula 3 Fitness, go have yourselves a great day. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.